Ass in my face, bones, ass tight, racks, pickle shack, height, jury on me, flashlight. I've been listening last night, get him with the club, club, make a nigga act right. Both boys don't deserve no, uh, I know that's right. Big bad pussy, not the friendly band, take a member, let's see, I can start it, I can know these go, these go. It's big bad pussy, not the friendly band, take a man, bring him back, start it, I can know you, go, you go. If it's up, then it's up, then it's up, then it's up. Transparency. I'm 70% of the way in. And I'm starting to shit out. We get ready to go out. This is a quick OOCD. This shirt is not mine. This is definitely Drake's shirt. I think from Old Navy. The shorts are mom shorts from OBS. The I have a Lululemon bag. I think my hoops are from H&M. They're the same gold hoops I wear all the time, y'all. I love hoops. I just can't like stray from them. And my shoes. I'm wearing these blazers. Yeah, they've been through some things. I think I got these mm, probably over a year ago, so they're nice and broken in. But don't let nobody convince you to get canvas blazers. They are such a pain to get on. I don't know, the leather is like so flimsy that when you put your heel down into it, it just smashes it all the way down. And it's a high top and it's got no tab on the back to help you pull that up. So you legit have to like unlace your shoe from the ankle all the way down to the toes to slide them on and then lace them all the way back up. So if you're looking for something quick to put on, uh, canvas blazers ain't it. But anyway, we're getting ready to go. Come on, baby. Come on, boo, let's go. <laughs> we, well, yeah, I came up with what we're going to get Jake for Father's Day. Father's Day is Sunday. Y'all won't see this until after. So, you know, happy Father's Day to all of the active, involved daddies out there. We love that. Y'all keep doing your thing. But for my husband, we're going to get him some summer clothes. When we went shopping, he um, picked out two outfits that he really likes, but he still only has two outfits to wear for the entire summer. So, now that I know what he's looking for and what he likes, we're just gonna go pick him up just a, a little more of that. He wants to wear white V-necks all summer, which is okay with me. Come on, but you ready? And um, he has like a cream pair of linen shorts and then he has like a denim pair of distress shorts. So, you know, maybe we're keeping it right up there, Allie. Let me make sure I got my keys before I close this door. All right, come on back. We made it. We got the parking gym pop today. Come over here. Because uh, we early on a Monday. Yes. They open at 10, 10, 17. The parking lot is still full though. That's very much a fact. But we're only going to one store. They have a Primark in here, and since Primark opened, they pop. Was I supposed to get some shoes last They pop. No? Nobody said that. Look at them. I was trying to get something. Always. Um, but yeah, Primark pops, which is the reason why it's mainly full, because I think it's like the only, the only store like that in this area. But we want to H&M. And don't nobody care about H&M now that Primark is open. So, should be plenty of space to wiggle around and look. Yeah, it's Christmas all year around here. Token drying rack that we're gonna do this haul next to. Okay, first we're gonna start with what I got my husband. Jake has this concept of a uniform. He has a very bad decision fatigue and he is indecisive. So it was taking him like longer than he would like, I guess, to get dressed. So he decided on like a Steve Jobs uniform. So he has his winter uniform down. His summer uniform is a white v neck. He only has two of those, so I picked him up two more. I can't remember if he got slim or regular, because one of the shirts he didn't like, I think it was the slim that he felt was too short at the waist. So they only had slim in the white v-necks, but I got him a size up to maybe compensate for the length. I hope it's not too baggy, but we'll see. 
because I sure don't mind going back to H&M, honey. And he just wanted to wear some sort of shorts with him. So he already has a pair of denim distress shorts. So I just got him a nice clean pair of regular denim shorts. I like the light wash. I think it'll go good with the white tee. And I like the uh, cuffs at the bottom here. And he has the pair of cream linen shorts. So I got him just like a light blue linen short. I like these. Very nice. The color, the detail, like the woven fabric. That's very nice too. H&M is a whole setup. Let me tell you why. Because when you go in the store, you're in the women's section. You can go, you can enter the store two ways. You can go in the clothing side, which is the women's section. You're immediately in it. Submerged in all kind of fun things that you may want to buy if you're a woman such as myself. Or you go into the home side where you're immediately mer emerged in all kind of home decor that you would want to buy if you're a woman such as myself. So, either way, I'm, I'm coming out of the store with something for me. So here's what I got. First, I picked up a black bucket hat. I love my white bucket hat. I particularly like my white bucket hat at the pool. I think it looks so good with a swimsuit and it just covers like the amount of my face and neck that I like for me to not be like super hot outside. I love it. I love the way it looks. It's such like a casual look with some biker shorts and an oversized tee. Throw on a biker's, I mean a biker's hat. What? Throw on a bucket hat and you have an outfit made. I also like this because um, I'm not big on like retwisting my locks often. So a hat is just, you know, very useful <laughs> for the look I got going on. I am nervous about the fact that it's black because the white one I have, you know, holds no heat. It's just fine. But this one might make me a little, might heat me up just a little bit more, but whatever. I'm keeping it. The next two, we're going to try on, but this one, it's like a collared baggy crop top. I like this high in the front. I also like that it has, she's baggy and she has no buttons. It's just sewn right here. Oh, the material, it's like a silky material. Let me see. 29% poly, polyamide. I don't know what that is, but it's very soft. It's giving like silk and linen and I love it. I like the cream fabric also. And I'll wear a lot of like camel colored accessories. So I think cream just sets that off perfectly. This one, oh my gosh, I love her. Yeah, it's a crochet maxi. A crochet maxi dress. Like, look at this crochet. It's phenomenal. The color is great. Now, many might use this as a beach cover up. However, I am really enjoying what keto is doing to my body. I am like wearing, I think, tighter things. I felt very confident at the pool over the weekend. Like, I also feel like my face is looking slimmer and not as full. The thing is working, it's working for me. So I feel like the only thing that I can wear up under this is a Skims bodysuit. I feel like it's really the only thing I'm trying to wear. A Skims bodysuit and some heels. The amount of tags that they put on sunglasses is ridiculous. How am I supposed to accurately try these on in the store and get the vision for what they look like on my face? If it's tags and shit swinging all down my nose. Wow. That was intense. Mm, these are so cute. I hate that you can see my eyes though. I always feel like sunglasses are such protection to just stare at whatever you want for however long you want. But you can see my eyes through these, so I'm gonna have to remember that. But I love these, aren't they so cute? The shape and the uh, amount of sunglass, the thickness, the width, the size, oh my gosh, the size of the shade. Look at these, they're so perfect. I'm gonna try on my clothes, but I don't have anything to wear under my crochet. Dress. You know what? I'll put on a bathing suit. We'll try that on. Let's see how they look. This is hella cute. I got a large because I didn't think my boobs were gonna fit in here. I mean, I like the bagginess of it, but I feel like I could've got a medium. Nah, I don't know. Medium would've been pushing it. But no, it's just super cute. Okay, sis. With a skirt, even with these shorts and some heels. Mm. Yes, it's a keeper. She needs a steamer, but, yep. 
keep you can't even tell that i mean can you i just don't even think you would be able to tell that i'm wearing something under this like maybe because i'm brown i feel like you should be able to see more of the silhouette of the bathing suit but let me lower this down some this cute. I didn't even see this little slit on the side. She's very cute. I like this very much. Okay, sis. Crochet just as a keeper. Get out of the kitchen properly. <laughs> How's your wrist, my guy? And huh? the bedtime blues. The blues means you're sad. Oh, look at Pete. What's he wearing? Hey, Pete. Hey, Pete. He's wearing his pajamas. Whoa, Pete was just about to catch some Z's when? When what? Clap, 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 clap. Who did that? He asked. Thanks, baby. Good morning. It's Tuesday. What are we doing today? Nothing. We trapped in the house. Today is PMI. They do it like seasonally. It stands for personal military informant it's like that's what it feel like though let me tell you the maintenance man come in your house fast and furious y'all it's like six of them one of them replaces the filter in the uh, air system the other one checks the fire alarms one of them cleans out the dryer vent they come through they check any appliance that has gas to make sure you don't have a leak they check and replace all of the filters and the faucets the bidet included so, honey, let me tell you, when they come in here, they come in here like uh, like the clowns who get out the clown cars. It's just one after the other, after the other, and they bring in all kinds of equipment. Now, me, stupidly, I used to clean before they showed up, and I don't even know why. Because it really do feel like an inspection, like we sniffing around here to see if your unit is in the condition that it should be in but it's not because the maintenance men do not care let me tell you not at all they come in here with a ton of equipment with dirty ass boots do what they got to do and they leave and half the time they don't even check everything they're supposed to check let me tell you my son was in the office doing his homework one time and this man did not want to disturb him so he didn't check the fire alarm in there and i was like not the fire alarm the smoke detector in there and i was like sir you know you can go in there he was like are you sure are you sure he was sure enough gonna leave without doing it so I think when they come in, they hope that the unit is vacant because the notice on the door certainly says they will be entering whether you are home or not. And I don't know about you, but if six or seven strange people come in my house, I want to be there. You know, I, 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 I like to be present. So we're in the house all day waiting for them to complete the PMI. And they, I mean, it's a, it's a wide range of hours. We can come between eight and four. I, <laughs> So plan to be there all day. I remember I think last season, which would have been what, winter? I missed mine. And then they came back like a month later. 
and they were like we can come between eight and four yeah why did they show up at like 3 30. i was like okay this feels a little bit like petty revenge payback for me not being here the first time and the first time i actually was here but when i went to leave the house the manager was across the street at my neighbor's house doing their pmi and he like flagged me down and he was like miss we, we're coming across we're almost done here like just stay there we'll be here we'll be there soon for our pmi and it was like sir i can't like I have an appointment that I need to be at. So uh, Gabriel was here and they came in the house and he said, he was like, I walked out of my room and they was like, um, is your mom here? And he was like, no, she's not. So they left. <sighs> so yeah, I was like, listen, you want, you want your leg back, sir? Cause I really just, I had to go, I had to go. But today I don't, so I'm here. Um, regardless of whether the PMI was occurring today or not, we in the house because Jake took the car. He has duty twice this week, which like hardly ever happens. So he was in his duty today all day long. He may see the kids before they go to bed, but I don't know. What's up, kid? What are you doing? What are you doing here? Yes, that is me. So school's been out for a week. How's it going for you? Are you ready for August yet? Uh, Ma'am, you're not supposed to be in there. That's for your baby. Can I tell y'all how long this little girl been trying to sit in the stroller? For like a year. Mission accomplished. I hope it was everything you dreamed of. Okay, this your last one for real. Don't tell your daddy I let you eat three of these. No. Okay. Okay. They came and did a stupid ass inspection. Mm. Okay, wait. So what, this is summer, we went every season. Fall went to spring, three more, baby. And we out this bitch. So there's a documentary on Netflix that me and Jake started last night. It's like a three part series and it's called Arnold. It's about Arnold Schwarzenegger. And he, the first episode is just all about him bodybuilding, how he came from Austria to America and was like, you know, one of the greatest bodybuilders. So y'all know the story, uh, Arnold went on to, well, I don't know if you know, but Arnold went on to become like one of the greatest Mr. Olympias. He started his own bodybuilding competition, you know, became a movie star. He um, was like the governor of California. He also cheated on his wife and had a love baby, which my husband did not know about. I said, honey, wait till you see this love child look just like him. More than his three kids that he had with Maria Shriver. I said, ooh, and the hate is going to ensue. Them kids fucking hate his ass. But that's not that baby fault. He didn't ask Arnold to fuck the housekeeper. He didn't. Anyway, so we watched that. And the first episode is very, like, inspirational. Arnold says, like, just a lot of key phrases. Um, basically, he grew up in an abusive household. His dad was in the war. Oh, she was in some war. Sorry, y'all. I'm, like, history ignorant. And um, he came back and he was like, you know, during this time period when, when I was being raised, like Austria was just full of broken men because they fought so hard in the war and then we lost. So he was like, you know, my dad was just a broken man trying to do his best to raise two boys. And he was like an alcoholic, he had PTSD, like he would beat us, he would beat my mom. So all of that stuff made me like very strong and very determined. And he was like, everything that made me who I am is the same thing that broke my brother because my brother was just soft by nature. So, you know, he goes to say, like, um, his dad and his brother passed away. So he goes to say um, in a documentary, like, somebody asked him, like, how do you feel with, about that? Like, how did you cope with that? And then just still, like, move on with your bodybuilding. And he was like, I just have just decided a long time ago that I need to be very strong in my mind. Like, I'm not going to let outside influences affect me. It's just not going to happen. It's not a part of who I am. So, you know, like, later on in life, maybe i'll cope with that once i accomplish my goals and you know like settle my mind down some but right now like baby i'm a fortress i can't let that get in the way of the goal that i see for myself and then he just talked about like visualization he doesn't say anything about manifesting but i guess essentially visualization and manifestation is is one in the same right so you just see yourself very specifically where you want to go where your end goal is what 
your uh what your first place prize looks like for you and he was like i just saw that very vividly every single day until i was not until i was there not only did i accomplish my goal i accomplished it several times over enough to get bored with it and then that's what made him move on to acting so I said all that to say that I am like more fired up than ever to just continue my eating plan the way that I want, the way that I want it and I see it for myself. But um, check out the Arnold documentary, y'all. I don't know, I can't like, you know, give it a definite, it's fantastic. But the first episode is solid, very solid. Arnold's a great storyteller. Um, not only that, but my man has kept like hella receipts, <laughs> so. He has like friends, he has family, he has trainers who just come on and like back up every single thing that this man has said, has been to, vouch or been through, vouch for his character. So um, I'm just ready to get to the part where he cheats on his wife. What I do know is that I've been watching this for a whole hour and Jonathan Majors might take his shirt off yet. Sir. What are we hiding? I wanted to relax his eyebrows and take his shirt off. I'm not asking for too much. Dang. If you have Prime, go for it. Also, I heard it was coming to Disney Plus sometime in July. So I'm looking it up and I'm like, why Sylvester Stallone ain't in this one? You know, Miz never misses an opportunity to be in a Rocky spinoff, a damn Rambo remake, or The Expendables. Like, he doesn't miss the movies. Not for nothing. So I seen that he was just like, I don't like the way, like, I guess directorially, the movie went. So I was like, no, nah, that's admirable. Like, I just don't, I don't in my division, whatever. And then at the end, I see Michael B. Jordan directed it. <laughs> ah, so this is Stallone, is he, that's a shady old man right there. Oh, I just abandoned my little project. I totally forgot I was supposed to DIY this last week. See, it's just in that little nook. Today, I did. With my son? No. no, with my daughter. Why not? My son didn't want to watch it. I didn't ask him. <laughs> I'm lying. I didn't even ask him if he wanted to watch. Okay. 
was limping real bad yesterday. I seen him. Look like his right leg is messed up. Hmm. I would feed him, but then he gonna come back with a pack of friends, and I just can't. Mm -mm. What? Yeah, Mary Bowser. Mary Eliza Mahoney. Ida B. Wells. Girl, I know her. Zora Neale Hurston. I know her too. Oh, that's a pretty background. Alma Wizzy Thomas. Color is life. That's how she teach her painter. Y'all, this is Noah's choice of book for this that morning. Book? Yes, look at all the colors. That's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What colors do you see? What color is this? Red. Yellow. Yellow. What color is this? Yellow. Yellow. It does look like Red. yellow. Uh huh. Yeah. Red. Go, Gracie. She has a paintbrush in her hand. This book is called Little Leaders, Bold Women in Black History. I love this series. I love this artist, but this book is just filled with, God bless you. God bless you. What is it? It's like almost 80 pages of just black women in history. It goes in chron. I see her, she's so beautiful. Hi, Miss Alma. Miss Alma. Mm -hmm. I see, that's so beautiful. Yes, that is blue. Good job. And I think, yeah, I so saw it might occur. I think it occurs in chronological order based on how the um the women mentioned were born. That is purple. Good job, baby. Let me say what's a bad idea. Anything outside of this apartment? Child. Summer is summering. You hear me? If you want to be outside, if outside is your place to be, come on down. Come on down, baby. It's hot, it's muggy. The air is very, very thick. We just got back from therapy. We had it at the park. And as soon as we, when we got out there, it was fine. Walking to the park was fine. But I think just like standing around in one spot, um, supervising the kids, like it was a lot. It's a lot, it's hot as hell out there. No, that's not for me, I'm not built for this. You know, my people are tropical people too. Mm -hmm. That's an alligator. Yeah, it is a dinosaur, but that's just an alligator. We are tropical people too, and it's too much for me. I can't do it. You know what, I don't even know where people I come from. I want to do like a 23 and me, but do I want to submit my DNA? You know what? It's so funny. I'm, I'm all over the place. I haven't talked to y'all all day. Forgive me. I got a lot of thoughts brewing here. I was watching an episode of Snapped. No, it was not Snapped. This was recently. There's this lawyer who got hemmed up for rapes that he committed two decades ago, and that's how they found him. Apparently, the FBI is running like periodic searches through the DNA genealogy websites. So that's how they are they are solving cold cases. I don't know. I mean, you know, I haven't committed any severe crimes. However, do I want the the FBI having access to my DNA? I don't know. Um, maybe we'll think about it. We had therapy. It was a decent session. We had to cut it short though. And I told Noah's clinician, like, ma'am, I'm not gonna ask you to come outside no more. No more until the weather cools off because this is just torture. Your job, you gotta run around with kids all day, ma'am. You need to preserve some of that energy. No, we can meet at the house in the AC. I will crank it all the way up, turn all the fans on until you leave. I want you to be cold when you leave my house. Cause shouldn't nobody have to deal with that. It's too hot, it's too much out there. We were at the park and apparently like some moms had been up for a play date. They kids was real aggressive. And this one little boy was pushing Noah and I was like, you know, it's so awkward when you're at the park and somebody else's kid is not being watched by them. Then they do something to your kid and I was like, I'm in this awkward position where I gotta tell you no and I don't even know you. Like, don't do that to her. So, no, my daughter did not wait until this little boy had his back turned to get her lip back. I said, okay, sis. The Scorpio energy is absolutely reigning supreme here. Like, ma'am, girl, be careful. 
Be careful, girl. Ma'am. Okay. We'll get our lick back kind of baby. I'm with it. Whatever says I'll be in full support and she did it twice. The second time, I didn't see her get hit, but her brother seen her get pushed. And then this little boy was on his way up the stairs. No, she did not grab his ankle. I said, ma'am, you supposed to get your lick back. It's gotta be equal, baby. You can't be out here trying to shatter teeth and break bones and all of that. Go grab this little boy ankle while he going up the stairs. I said, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We gotta go. <laughs> it's time. Call it. It's time to go. Whew. I thought I was prepared for summer, but. Mm. Whew. I lied to myself big time. So today, I need to mail back this package to Old Navy. I have the same haul that I did in the last video. I will link it up here, hopefully time stamps. I um, am not shocked at all that my son does not like any of the clothes that I picked out for him. I told y'all, I told y'all, when he does not have the input, he is more likely to decline the clothes that I pick out. So my boy say he doesn't like any of the clothes, which is fine, you know, like I said, I would rather spend money where it's gonna be useful and get him things that he likes rather than force these clothes in his closet and then they never be worn or they be worn by me next year sometime. So I need to pack those up and send those back. The package we need to send back. Also, I'm waiting on Jake to hit me up and let me know if the car is done or not. He dropped it off last night for um, them to put the part in. So hopefully we will have air when I pick it up and it'll be like just in time because I can't be riding like this. I can't have my babies riding around like this. And y'all know, we. I like to cruise. I like to get out and run these streets. So, we need to get that done. We watched the next episode of that Arnold documentary. Now this one is from, oh, I think we watched two and a half. And that's only because we were both in here cleaning. So the second episode was about his rise from bodybuilder to movie star. Arnold is, a hard-working individual. He also seems like the type of person that would have been good at whatever he pursued. So that's why he was able to be successful in so many avenues of his life. But as far as him being a movie star, like, Ben said himself, I had no pressure to accept roles like being an extra, being uh, anybody's supporting cast because I was already a millionaire. Like I had my bodybuilding money and then the man who trained me in, in the business aspect of bodybuilding and helped me build my own brand also schooled me on real estate. So I bought my first apartment building and then I got into commercial real estate. So I had my first couple million up under my belt before I even decided to pursue being an actor. Therefore, my man could afford like the best acting coaches the best classes like just pursue so many avenues that would make him great and like i said in whatever area that he chose to pursue the same with politics y'all i did not know maria shriver is a fucking kennedy she is a kennedy of course my man slipped right into politics because his wife comes from politicians i did not know she was a kennedy so i'm like okay girl you are maria shriver kennedy she dropped that she dropped that last name. She said, let me just go off the Shriver and let these motherfuckers think that I don't know nobody. So yeah, I did not know that his wife was a Kennedy. And also at this point in his life, he had bodybuilding money. Uh, he's a real estate entrepreneur. He's a movie star who has accumulated movies that have grossed billions of dollars. And now he wants to pursue being the governor of California. And he has the money and the like political and the famous backing to get him there. He had Vanessa Williams sing at his inauguration. Like, sir, Obama didn't even get it. Why, don't leave now. Don't leave the scene of the crime. Wow, I see what you've done here. <laughs>
now that that is done i can't do any more because the packing tape that i just picked up i realize is in the trunk of the car which is good because that's the order that i want to do things in anyways pick up the car and then take the package so that's all good i can finish packing it when um, i get the notification that the car is ready but yeah i'm 187 pounds today <laughs> Hey, how you doing? Good, good. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up a 2009 Volkswagen Jetta Silver. Let me make a hey. shampoo back in stock. I'm getting to. If I ever put a hot dog in a toaster, y'all just commit me. Okay, duh. Not a textured hair care line though. What does it smell like? Smells like Palmer's. I'm sold on these. Let's see. The price point is just as expensive as Shea Moisture, so it's a win for me. Um, we came here for a white container. That's weird. All these kids on base, I can't find a white container. That's why I can't find a white container. You want yours? Thank you. Thank you. Now I gotta make sure no one I'm looking before I pour mostly water in her juice cup. Cause sis hits the game. She see that water bottle, she start freaking out. Like, ma'am, you can't take undiluted apple juice. You've been drinking it, diluted your whole life. Relax. Here, boom. You're welcome, baby. Let's go over what I got at the store, what I actually needed, and then what I wanted. We went for Monster cheese, potatoes, and toothpaste, and cotton rounds. But what I wanted, vegetable oil, I didn't really want this, but I needed it for the potatoes tonight. Shampoo for myself. Baby, if you like the tea tree, is this my Paul Mitchell? Is the brand tea tree? I think so, it's got a little, a little trademark symbol right there, so. Right, it's by tea tree this shampoo is so good it's such a good clarifying shampoo it does the whole tingle on your scalp it kills any dandruff honestly it reminds me of like sulfur 8 sulfur 8 was the shit still is because this shampoo is this is 10 ounces and it's expensive it's 18 dollars so for me 
to get what I need and for how often I'm washing my hair, like it's really good for me. But if you wash your hair often and you suffer from a dry scalp or you spend a lot of time, you know, in water, out in the sun, doing anything that's gonna dry your scalp, this is not, I don't think the price point is good for washing often, you know? My husband said that he used to use this, but he was like, but I had to give it up. It's too expensive. I was like, yeah, but it is expensive. But these two bottles will probably last me. It's June. They might last me until the end of the year, y'all. I picked up new hair products for my girl, the Baby Dove. I don't know what shampoo we're using now. It smells phenomenal, but, you know, it's a, it's a regular shampoo. So when she gets her hair rinsed, she freaks out a little bit because it will burn if it gets in your eyes. So, um, the Baby Dove does not. No tears, non drying, no paraben, sulfates, dyes, or phthalates. I don't know. Phthala, phthalates, phthalates. I don't know what this word is, and I've never seen it. So, I didn't even know, like, to be cautious of it. But I guess, girl. Coconut oil, almond oil, chamomile, and oatmeal. Hydrating shampoo for textured hair. 94% naturally derived. I'm not even out here for that, but that's really nice to know. And it smells, like I said, it smells like Palmer. It smells really good. I didn't even smell the detangler. Oh, it's the same formula. It has a lighter, a much, much lighter scent. The shampoo smells very, uh, smells a lot stronger compared to the detangler. Also, baby, they made this for texture hair, but they put, oh, this, this is a six and a half ounce bottle. Who with texture hair is really using the whole a quarter method? Like a quarter, remember they used to tell us a quarter of product, that's how you should measure it. That's all you need, no bitch. My daughter hair will drink up a quarter of product. So we'll see what this does for her and how quickly we go through it. Um, I got another candle. Same peach bellini, y'all. This is my scent. And really, the only reason I copped this one is because it was the only one left. That's the selling technique. They probably got a stock room full of shit. They've got scents from Christmas left. I know they do. I know they do. Because every once in a while, I'll go in the next and I'll see like, like cinnamon raisin bread with a Christmas tree on the front. have eye appointments today we're clearly blind and we need updated prescriptions i was thinking it would be wise to go ahead and get in there especially before like the beginning of school and you know physicals and shots and eye exams and all that stuff it's just in like high demand but i'm ready probably about 15 minutes before i would like to leave the house so i was thinking since your girl is like I started losing weight, I was 199. Yesterday I was 187. So that's 12 pounds, 12 pounds lighter. I don't know if my clothes are gonna fit differently. However, I have a bunch of clothes that I have been ordering probably since March or so that I tried on previously, was not like happy with the way that they fit or they didn't fit at all. So, um, you know, to kill some time, my babies are ready. We all just like chilling, waiting to go. But to kill some time, let's try some of this shit on. Yeah. This was definitely a next summer dress. Like, when I bought this, I couldn't even get the, it has a little like, yeah, I'll take it. Huh? 
hook here. Y'all, I can't even get the hook done or the zipper up. Wow. So y'all have to see the whole dress. It's very cute. I'll probably do it without a bra. This doesn't go back, babe. Please go throw this in the trash. My mommy have this. Go put this in the trash. Mm -hmm. Go throw it away, then come back for your avocado. If y'all thought Noah was over the avocado, she is not. Um, not the shoulder falling down, no. What's happening? I don't know. I don't know. It's right there. You see? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because of the back though, I'll probably wear it. I see, without a bra. I'm But it's so cute. It's just so girly and feminine. I mean, like, is she going on a picnic? Is she walking down the pier? Are we getting on a Ferris wheel? What's happening in this dress? Anything, anything your heart desires. So cute. I'm so glad it fits. Ciao. I was not able to button any of these the last time. So I'll look at my button. And she's cute, but is it ever gonna fit? Yes. My girls, even at my smallest, were always this big. Like my boobs, they don't shrink. Look at them. Mm -hmm. Honey, I wear this dress. I'm not paying for nothing. You hear me? Nothing at all. Mm -hmm. If I do anything faster than like a light trot, I'm gonna knock myself out. For real. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. She's on the back burner, probably for a whole season. Same story with this one. It did not button. It did not close when I got it. But look at this. That's crazy. I don't know what I was thinking with all of these, like, basically nurse uniforms. I do like the color of this, though. This khaki is really nice. The girls are still doing their own thing. What about this? I still don't think this. I don't think this no better. They still... Popping out, popping out, busting loose. But this one is cute, it's from Old Navy. It was advertised as a twist, a front twist dress. You can see the twist, but it's definitely separate. So, you know, beware. But this one, these shapes from H&M. This mini bag. And these flags. You think he gonna beat us down there? That's what you think? You think you're gonna win? Come on, girl. Come on. No, you gotta count after the door is closed. <laughs> he probably. Whoa, he probably took off. Did you think he took her off? He probably gone. He probably gone. <gasps> wow. Jumped out on the road again. We're done at the optometrist. We are both blinder than last year. She contacted me, so I'm all squinty and stuff. My left eye is also ridiculously behind my right eye, so I got like dual vision now. It's like point one. I got x ray vision in the left eye and regular, regular blind people vision in the right eye. Yeah, and these are she's gonna put on her glasses to see through diamond ore. Boom. I told Jake, yeah, just wait, now. just wait. It's only a matter of time before they give me a stick. And I'm like certified blind. Think about it, if I'm progress my eyes are progressively getting worse year by year. It's only a matter of time before I'm like certified vision impaired. Well it's only 1.5. I'm gonna have to get LASIK. Right, my left eye's always been weaker, but you know, both my eyes are dulling. Just get there at Fortnite. I sit in front of the screen mm -hmm. almost 24 7. Mm -hmm. My eyes aren't worse than yours. What? They're worse than they were last year, though. That's very true. But mm -hmm. barely. Mm -hmm. It's only this eye. <sighs> I am. It's only my left eye. That's it. Those are our only things today. Then I think we're coming out to get food. I don't know. Probably in a oh. couple of hours. We should get it now. So we don't got to come back out. Exactly. You should. You're right. All right. We're going to get it now. 
Hey y'all, I feel like we have not spent that much time together this week. I'm trying to chill on like the full ass, full length film vlogs and not produce in two hours worth of content because it takes me forever to edit it. But, uh, you know, that don't mean I should be like neglecting y'all. What the hell? I gotta find a nice balance. So, good morning. I'm having breakfast. My kids are fed up, dressed. We all ready to go. I'm gonna eat and then, oh honey, turn the stove off. The stove needs an alarm like the refrigerator. Do it make those yet? If you leave the fridge open, it beeps. If I leave the oven on, they need some kind of sensor that lets me know there's no food in there so I can turn it off. Um, but we get ready to go. We need to go pick up the meal. And honestly, I think that's it. It's been so low key around here. I really appreciate it, but I'm getting kind of bored. Dare I say. Yikes, not the B word. Mm. That's a strong one to use, especially for a grown ass woman with two kids. Yikes. If you're curious, baby, I'm still burning cheese and eating sausage for breakfast, so nothing's changed there. I feel really good about it. I mean, you know, like I said, I told y'all before, I feel like this is my thing. I feel like we got this. This is the thing. It's going. It's good. Um, what's today? Today is Friday. Father's Day is in two days. So I already have my husband's present and I have his card. So we'll get those signed and like hooked up today and get them nice and hidden away for um Sunday. And he does not want anything. He asked me, I think Wednesday. He was like, so what are you going to give me for Father's Day? And I was like, I don't know. What do you want? He was like, I don't know. So he doesn't know that I got him clothes, but I feel like he does and he doesn't. Because if he's not going to tell me that he wants something specific, I'm going to buy him clothes because he always needs them. So I just hope that he enjoys them, which he will. Jake is like grateful for the air he breathes, baby. He is just, <laughs> he, he will be, I'm sure. So, what is this on? Oh no. I thought the little fan that I used to cool Noah's food is on, but it's not. It's the um, dehumidifier. I went through all of that to pick up that dehumidifier, get it approved, honey, the lug it all the way here, and I have not turned it on maybe all month. A scrub is a guy that thinks he's flying this, also known as a buster. Always talking about what he wants to just say. Hey, how you doing? Hello. What guys are next? How are you doing? About 30 to 89. Thank you. Not the dentist of Americans. Nope. Mm-mm. That, that is not believable. Baby, escape, baby girl. We're back from the post office. I got a package yesterday that I didn't even share with y'all because I didn't even know that I had it until this morning. Um, it's fashionable, but it's pretty lame. It's just some taupe trousers, a black belt that I didn't even bother to open. Let's open it, see what she's made of. Hard for absolutely no reason. Let me have your cup, boo. Oh, you leaving? Okay, bye. Okay. It's just a basic golden black belt. I'm pretty sure I bought it for the buckle here. I like that. I enjoy that. I wish one of these was like adjustable. I hope she fits because it was definitely a one one size. One size fits most, they say nowadays. I don't know if I fall into the most category or not, but I guess we'll see. A little, a little chain. Do my chain hang low? Hell yeah, dude. It's big as hell. Let's see. Oh, okay. She's cute. Can y'all see it with like a little cover up in a bathing suit? Mm -hmm. Ooh, she's just getting a little spicy this season. And I got a pretty little thing package. I think the pants are screaming basic to me because the top that I got to go with the pants is in this package. 
this girl. Oh, boobs everywhere. They're gonna be everywhere. Can you see? I like this though. Oh, I am. I'm late to the cookout, y'all, but I love me a mini bag. I love these so much. I really wish I would have got on this train when it started. But for me, you know, we matured in like the 2000s where everything was large. Frames large, tote bags huge. Like, girl, you remember the like endless Hermani bag? You can't find nothing in that bitch. Why did we keep buying those? They were so deep, they were so bulky. They had everything in them. I mean, like in college, my first few years of college, I would use a tote bag like that to carry around textbooks and binders the bags were large but now everything's just so tiny and cute oh my gosh so this is like a white crocodile skin mini bag and she's adorable i think it's more of like a cream you know, like a true white or maybe this is a true white and this is a cream you can't really tell the difference on camera but cute nonetheless oh oh I'm gonna stop. I'm getting ahead of myself, honey. Package after package after package. Relax, ma'am. Find your scissors and simmer down. Mm, I also got a pair of shoes. Let's see. What are you? Because I don't remember. Uh -oh. Let's see. Oh! Oh, who is she? I got some clear nude heels. Ooh. These are so sexy, but I feel like, uh, are they gonna light up? I feel like a light should be in this heel by the way that it's made. It smells strange, but we'll see. Okay, we're gonna try these on. Try these on soon, but these are so cute. And if I remember, they were like, yeah, it's pretty little things, so you know that they were like on the cheaper side, for sure. But um, I have not worn a heel in quite some time, so I figured if I was gonna be brave and purchase one, I should go with, uh, a thicker heel makes me feel just a little you know false sense of security is what we're chasing these days so i guess that that's what it's giving all right and from amazon because a haul during the week is just not safe without amazon being included i got oh these are good old subscribe and save i have this triple paste ointment for noah she has been prone like chronic diaper rash since she was an infant and this is the only thing that's not medicated or doesn't require a doctor's appointment to heal her up as long as we're consistent with it like the rash can't go away and we feel like oh you know she's safe now like no we have to apply it after every diaper change i'll be sure to link it down below it comes in like a big jar that we keep around the house but um, I like the travel size ones, just, you know, to take on the go, have in the car, store in her diaper bag, yada, yada, yada. So this time last year, we were gearing up to go to Greece for my birthday. I left all of our Aquaphor at home. Aquaphor is the only thing that has been helping my skin fight, combat this European water, like just a little bit, y'all. It's not even doing the best of jobs. But I keep the travel Aquaphor on subscribe and save. I love it. It's 1.75 ounces, so you know, safe for TSA. You can take it, jet set with it, and not be ashy and crusty. In our last surprise package, we have. Oh. Hmm. Child, I might be missing some, but I don't know. I never know. That's the gift of the post office. I don't think my man's grabbed everything, because. I think I had a bit more on here from Amazon, but whatever. He didn't say this was in. But this is a beach cover-up, similar to the one that I already have, the crochet one that I showed y'all a couple days ago. Except she's got a V-neck, and um, okay, she's short. She also has slits on the side. All right, girl, where are we going? This is so cute. I think it's like covering just enough. Maybe this is what's gonna look good with a skin's bodysuit underneath it and not the long one. So, mm, okay, sis, I like this. I will link everything down below. Are we gonna try on all? We might, we might. All right, I definitely need a bigger size. My foot is like almost on the floor, y'all. I'm walking like big foot, I can't. <laughs> There's nothing delicate about her. Nothing delicate about her. Killer roaches with my toes on the floor. Killer roaches with my toes on the floor. Killer roaches. 
Bro, I need an etiquette school or something like How do you do this? How does that make you feel like? <laughs> like you're fighting gravity with every step. I can't do it. Keep me on the floor. Keep Keep me on the floor. Keep me on the floor. I can't do it. I can't. I'm sending all of that stuff back. All the accessories I'm keeping, but all of that shit right there is going back. That had to have been like a 3 a.m. insomnia purchase because all very poor choices. First of all, the top I purchased apparently from the plus size portion of Pretty Little Thing, which I don't even know if I was fully aware of when I did it because it's like, girl. You're heavier than you used to be, but I'm not plus size, so it doesn't fit at all. Like, it's like a parachute in the back. Y'all, I could stuff Noah's whole head up the back of my shirt. It's giving she doesn't know how to boil water. I'm like, damn, I'm over here making grilled cheese. I don't even know how this happened, y'all. I've been in the kitchen the whole time. How? This is one of them things you just gotta pack this baby up and toss it on out. Let's forget it ever happened. Forget all about it. Good morning. It's Saturday. Ooh, ooh. Now, what did I do all week? Nothing. I totally forgot that no one got invited to a birthday party, y'all. And if you know anything about little people birthday parties, they start early as hell. So, she got invited to the birthday party. It starts at 11.30. It is 10.14. <sighs> so, I'm shower dressed. Jake is getting Noah together right now. And we're gonna go. I'm gonna take the long way. I know y'all be like, bitch, you do not take that long to get to the next commissary. Where you be going? The long way around from my house because I enjoy just the little ride. So, Jake's getting Noah ready right now. And I'm going to the next because, baby, if my mama ever knew that I showed up to a child's birthday party empty-handed, she would get on the plane from North Carolina to knock my head clean off my shoulders. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to get a present because I can't do it. I can't. I don't know. This little girl, she will be two. I don't know what, I mean, I have a two and a half year old, so that's right up my alley. So y'all gonna get her? I don't know. Oh, child, whatever they have available. I slept like shit last night. The cutest thing happened though to cause me to sleep like shit. Gabriel asked Jake to have a sleepover. I was like, that is so adorable. So last night when it was time to go to bed, Jake moseyed right on into Gabriel's room and he slept on the floor. I thought that was so sweet. He said they stayed up last night and played Roblox. <sighs> but because my husband and son were being so sweet having a sleepover, I was in the bed by myself. And what I have learned is that I've never lived alone. I didn't move out of my parents' house until I was 27. And I had already been married for six months at that point. So I'm just not used to like not sharing a space, you know? It's weird. So suddenly I'm in the bed by myself. My husband is steps away, baby. And I can't sleep, I'm scared of the dark. Every sound sounds louder. I'm freezing, I'm hot. I'm dozing off, but I can't stay asleep. It was the strangest thing. So I didn't go to bed until 11 o'clock and I was up at 1.30 and I didn't fall back asleep until five. It was rough, it was a rough one. And then I was just up this morning automatically at 8, which is sleeping in for me anyway. But I just, mm, it was a rough night. All because my husband and son are adorable. So I'll take it. I'll take a sleepless night. But as we all know, my man's occupation is the Navy. He works for the military. So um, they tend to leave. They tend to be in and out. And this tour right now, this is shore duty, so he's on a shore sea rotation. So he will go back to sea at our next duty station. And honey, let me tell you something about me. Whew, I can't sleep when well, my husband is sleeping in a different room down the damn hall. I, 
I'm still vlogging at that point because we'll really get to see the evolution. Because last time, I don't remember, it was not pretty at all. But it was also different because I only had one child and he was older. I don't even know how we got here. So let's get in the next and get this gift. This baby look a little creepy. This Noah's baby right here. Hey, boo. Legit, this entire top shelf is a bear. I don't even know what Not a holiday Barbie though. I wonder what this originally retailed for. It's on sale for $32. That's not a sale. $32 for a Barbie that's six months old? No. Who does the Barbie though? Cause this comes, she comes in all different shades. Okay girl. Thank you. Now what I didn't have to do was get my daughter something. Every time, I promise you. Every time I go shopping for another kid. It's funny though, cause I said I didn't know what I was gonna get. Then I found myself in the store like, oh, Noah would like that. That's cute for Noah. And it's like, girl, Whatever you see for your two-year-old is probably appropriate for this two-year-old. So, I picked some up. I'll show y'all what I got when I got home. And for the kids, y'all, I'm always wrapping their gifts. Always. Because I feel like that is like the funnest part of gift giving. It's ripping all that paper off. I love that so much. There's just something so anticlimactic to me about a little kid opening a gift and a gift bag. My baby, oh, they just, it's already open. So I love watching them just rip the little paper off. So I'm always wrapping gifts. And funny enough, I said I wasn't gonna do this, but I did get like appropriate, I guess, appropriate birthday um, wrapping paper for this birthday party. But honey, I will show up with a gift wrap in in Christmas wrapping paper, Easter wrapping paper, and I care nothing about it. And quiet as it's kept, that's a good way to use up your wrapping paper because we all have wrapping paper in our homes from Christmas. We swear we're gonna use it next year, and then they always come out with some cute ass patterns to get our money, and we buy new wrapping paper and we don't use it. But I figured that this wrapping paper that I'm about to use to wrap this gift would be good for Noah's gifts too, so whatever. And at Christmas time, hell, honey, if I put it in Happy Birthday, Easter, St. Patrick's Day, wrapping paper, these kids not gonna care. They really not. I truly just did it for me. But we have, what, exact an hour before we have to be there. What I love about these parties is that they are mainly on base. So, you know, we're just walking. We're walking right down the street. So we don't have to really take no time to go nowhere. Come on, let's go get something for you. Now I understand the expectation I'm creating by buying my daughter a gift during another child's birthday. I, I get that. But y'all just don't have to fight in me today. I was trying to say this little pizza kitchen that I picked up for her, at least until we got back. But she keeps, come on baby. She keep pointing at the present. Open bag, open bag. My girl. The fight, I just didn't get in. Oh, here, you can have your little gift too. Here, babe. What's this? What is it? It's pizza. But it's cool. Shake. Oh. Wow. What do you say? 
You're welcome. Look at mama. 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 How we at the house, how we leaving and late to the party and it's literally right down the street. How? How'd it happen? Oh, no.